guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is karina welcome we're just gonna jump straight into it because i have a lot of awesome tips and tricks to show you guys on the imac or no i don't have an imac but it's essentially the same thing as a macbook pro in terms of customization i have the macbook pro 16 inch i think it came out in 2019 i don't know the exact name of it but it's the most recent macbook pro so i'm going to show you a bunch of tips and tricks that i have noticed have helped streamline a lot of the processes that i need to do on the mac and just make my life a lot easier and also really cute so the first thing i'm going to show you how to do is and i'm going to screen record so you can see is how to change your wallpaper i got my wallpaper along with the app icons you see here from another youtuber her name is julia and i'll link her website down below that way you guys can see her app covers and wallpapers that are super cute but that's where i got these all right so we're here you're just gonna type in whatever macbook uh wallpapers I spelled it wrong but that's fine uh, let's add in like aesthetic or whatever it may be See bam, you can also do Pinterest. I like about this one used to be my old one the you go girl So let's just use that so you'll click it then what I do is I'll right click Save image as and Then I'll just do you go girl or you go girl and save and I'll save it to my desktop I want to stray you away from doing the simple way of adding a, a wallpaper and that's to right click and put set desktop picture because I had a lot of issues with this in the past where whenever I turn off my computer and turn it back on my wallpaper was gone and upon further investigation I found out that it's because your wallpaper is like in another folder because you obviously don't want to just keep this here so you put it in a folder you put it in your Dropbox whatever it may be so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into to your photos in your launch pad and then you're going to create a wall on album here under my albums by clicking the little plus sign and name it wallpapers or name it whatever you want mine is wallpapers because that's just the only thing I have here and what you'll do is you'll drag this into your wallpapers photo album next you'll go into settings and you'll click desktop and screensaver in here, you'll be able to see under photos when you open it, your albums down here and wallpapers, and then you could select the one you want. And then essentially what you'll be doing is creating a connection between your actual settings and your wallpaper. And it'll have nothing to do like with where the original photo was located. This would just be like way easier. And then what I like to do is just delete the, old, the original because I don't need it anymore because it's in my photos. Next, I want to talk about these app icons. These app icons, again, are from Julia's website as well, so I'll link that down below. How you're going to do this is you're going to go to her website, download the image or save as the same way I just did it with the desktop through Google. If you want a Google one, you can do that by just searching up Apple folder icons, PNG, or transparent background, and then you could save one of those but i really liked hers so i chose one from hers and the same thing i just saved as saved it to my desktop i'm gonna show you guys now all right so let's just pretend we saved it bam what you're gonna do is you're gonna open or let's create a new folder so this is how the folder originally looks what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click put get info and then you're gonna need to open the actual png folder Press Command A, which selects everything as you can see. Command C, which is copying. And then you're gonna click on this little icon up here and press Command V. And then as you can see, you have here your new example folder. You can make them all different kinds of things, stars, um, flowers, whatever. And they look really cute. If you don't have a transparent background, it'll end up looking like this. So you want to make sure that it has a transparent background. And it's actually PNG. That way, it actually works. Okay, so when you log into your computer, I think if I log out right now, it'll stop recording. So I can't show you. Um, I'll try to take a picture so you can see it and I'll insert it, how it looks. You'll have like your background and then you'll have like a little circle with your name where you put in your password. And usually what happens is it's just your first two initials with like, with, like a random color, the apple ones as you can see here in settings my name right here Karina Gonzalez give you like random weird 
flowers and stuff and I didn't like that so I wanted to customize mine and how you do that is you'll go into your settings well first you have to save a picture so whatever picture it is that you want do the same process I just used this random beige color and what you do is you'll just save it the same way we save the wallpaper so save it to your desktop from Google Pinterest wherever it is and then you're gonna add it to your photos under your wallpapers album and then you're gonna come here into system preferences under this little icon press edit press photos and then bam you can choose whatever it is after you change it there you're gonna have to come into users and groups here you're gonna press edit photos and change it to whichever photo it is that you added as well then this is going to be where both of your icons are going to be changed it's going to be more aesthetic it's not going to be a random photo and that's how you do that okay so i wanted to speak a little bit about the launch pad so essentially the launch pad is this area where you can see all your apps and when you first download all your apps and you have all your new macbook or whatever it is or however you have it if it's not new you'll have all your apps here and they'll just all be unorganized i recommend organizing them by category and then also organizing them with folders and how you do that is the same way you do it on an iphone you'll just drag the icons together like this and it'll create um, a folder then you can edit the the title by just clicking here and typing whatever And then that'll create you a folder. Then I have all my other apps here, organized by category, but you can do it however you see fit. Then I wanted to talk about the dock. So this down here is called the dock. I recommend organizing the dock based on what apps you use the most. And I'll do this by either dragging the app as so and then adding it to the dock, or you can open the app as so, right click, hover over options, and then keep in dock. That'll make sure that every time you close it, the app will stay here. Okay, so I wanted to speak a little bit to my mouse users. As you can see, I have these two apps down here that you might be like, what is this? Um, essentially what this is, it's an easier way without having to use the trackpad on your laptop to be able to one, see your apps as so, and then two, see what apps uh, or what yeah what apps you have or what pages you have open along with any desktops you have open so you'll see here i have my first desktop but if you have other desktops open it'll also allow you to see that and if you're using a mouse it's just easier to be able to click this so that way you don't have to like be going back and forth between mouse and trackpad you add these the same exact way you add the other apps so you'll just go into whatever app it is for example here i have mission control as you can see and here i'll just drag it down to the mission control the ch the launch pad i couldn't find it so what i did was i went in my finder down here which is where you like search for things and i'll go to view or i'll go to go i'll go to go and then i will go under applications and then here is where you'll be able to find your launch pad you just search through and you see here bam launch pad i couldn't find it here for some reason but i know it's here somewhere but that's just how I found it because I couldn't find it in case you guys have the same issue. I also wanted to show you guys how to have something open at your login. So right when you log into your, to your screen, your apps might open. So I have these two apps open at login. So every time I log into my computer, these two apps will show up. I have here this app that helps me with my YouTube videos and then this app that helps me with my to-do list. I like to have these open when I open my computer because this way I'm able to see like what YouTube things are going on in my life and then also like homework, more YouTube things or just miscellaneous things like working out or whatever it is I want to do that day. I can do this in advance. So I like to have these open right away. At that way I don't have to, first of all, not forget about them. And then second of all, I can have them there um, easily accessible for me whenever I open my computer. So how you do this is similar to when you want to keep something in the dock. So you'll right click options and then open at login. So that's awesome. That's why I have that and it's very easy so i'll always have those two open like that and i just move them around so that way they don't clash with my calendar or my desktop icons so i want to show you guys how to customize the control bar and essentially this is how you can add and customize your widgets here you'll just go into your control bar press edit and then depending on what apps you have what you might want to do this is where you'll do so you can add small medium large um, widgets and essentially I like to add just this size because it's just more organized for me and I don't really use widgets too much on my computer um, I just have my calendar my reminders
sweaters and my weather but you know what now that i'm looking at this i kind of want to add my podcast because what if there's a podcast and podcast that i listen to shows up i think that would be a really good idea so i'm gonna add it by just pressing this little plus bam and then i'm gonna delete this one because i didn't like it so done and then you can see here i have the podcast here so you could so i could click on it easy if i see it and I remember so i'm gonna start with customizing toolbars um i found that this all when I first got my Mac and I started kind of playing thing, playing around with it. Essentially what this means is you're going to be moving around and editing um, these icons up here and this will just be awesome because for example the default doesn't have delete, doesn't have new folder, they have random things you might not use. So how you'll do this is you'll go to view and then you'll go to customize toolbar. You can also customize the touch bar, which is the touch bar on the Mac, the, the ones that have it, based on what you want to show in each individual app. I have some apps that I customize the toolbar, like Safari, but I didn't do it for all apps because it's a little bit time consuming and all, honestly, I don't use the toolbar for every app. So if you use the toolbar for, for certain apps, I would recommend updating the touch bar sorry the touch bar for things like that then customizing toolbar back to what we were talking about here you'll be able to essentially customize this area so you can see all the things you could potentially add and change and what you'll do is you'll just add and delete add like this as so moving them up and down and then press done when you're done i really like these because you can get a little quick look at things you can delete things easily with, without having to like drag it to the trash you can change the way you view things, the way you group things very easily, and that's just what's easiest for me. Okay, so now speaking about Google and Google Chrome and Safari, which is a little bit of a similar idea. Here, let's start with Safari. So how I customized my Safari was essentially you click these three little buttons down here, and then that's how you can decide what things you want to show on your on your Safari. As you can see, like you can have a million things show up here, series suggestions, privacy report, but I just wanted it to just show with my favorites because it was a little cluttered for me, a little bit much to handle. And then the same thing with the background image. Here you will right click, choose background, and then here it'll give you like all the options. It's, a, it's loading, I don't know why it's going so slowly. You can choose between all of these, or you can also choose between solid colors, as you can see. If I want gold, or ochre, gold again, whatever, pink, silver, I can choose between those. There, change it to a different background for a different vibe. Then you're gonna see here my toolbar. I wanted to speak a little bit to the toolbar because this is something that not, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people know about this, but I wanted to kind of speak on it, on how to do it on Safari, so again this is another thing you can customize um by going to whatever website it is let's say you want to do it to google and then you will click this little share button add bookmark and then type whatever name you want it to be and add i wanted to mention folders so you can actually create folders as you can see and categorize your favorites so you don't have so many and how you do that is you will press you could right click and press new folder, but I found that it was a little bit more complicated to actually organize your folders. So what I did was under bookmarks, and then you will put edit bookmarks. Here you'll be able to see your favorites by clicking this little arrow. You can press new folder down here, name your folder, and then that way, whatever it is, you can drag it into your folder as so. That's pretty much it for the toolbar customization of Safari. It's a little bit more limited. In terms of Google Chrome, here you have more options here down here. It's just a very similar setup. You'll do customize Chrome. You can choose a background. You can decide if you want your shortcuts to show or not. I didn't, so I removed it because it was too much to handle again. Same thing with cards and then color and theme. I chose this like beige color, um, but you can change between all these colors. Same thing with Google Chrome and the favorites bar, how you'll do that is you will go through to these three little lines, press bookmark and then bookmark this tab. You will name it, whatever you want. And then for Google Chrome, if you wanna make a folder, you could actually right click, add folder, example, save. As you can see here, there's a little folder. And then in this case, you could just drag it in and then your example will show up. 
I wanted to speak on a little bit on bookmarking emails. So I had um, my initial email bookmarked and I didn't know that you can actually bookmark each individual folder. So I thought it was really cool that you could just actually put each email you have individually bookmarking it. You can do it in Safari and in Google Chrome. So you'll do it the same way, you'll just add a bookmark. But in the case of your email, you'll have to be logged into whichever email you want that that specific bookmark to be and then you would just do that for each email and then every time you click on that favorite it'll be able to take you directly to whatever email it is that you want to be logged into automatically alrighty guys so that's pretty much it that's a lot of the things that I used to customize my Mac I didn't go super in depth in the system side of things because I feel like that's something more more technical that's just something I would have played around in my settings if I needed to so these are all the tips and tricks that I thought were really beneficial towards me not only for aesthetics but for productivity and organization and just making your life easier to say the least I hope you guys enjoyed it again I'll link down the wall wallpapers I used down below. Her website has a bunch of cute little wallpapers and icons and a bunch of other things that you guys could use. So make sure to check that out. If you guys want me to speak a little bit more about the apps that I use, I'll make a separate video about that. If I went into detail about every single app that I used, um, you will never hear the end of this video. It'll be like 40 minutes long. With that being said, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for sticking through this with me. I hope it was really beneficial towards you and taught you a lot of things. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below any video ideas or anything you might want to know in specific and I'll see you guys soon.